Hello everyone, this is TechBizMo, and welcome back to another video. In this video, everybody, I'm going to be doing a top 7 Linux distros for 2018, to use in 2018. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. The first distribution that I have is Linux Mint. The desktop environments that Linux Mint uses is Cinnamon, Gnome, KDE, Mate, and XFCE. This distribution is a very out of the box um, distribution. It it will it's very easy to use. Very uh you know it's it's more for the beginner be beginners of Linux. However, it is my favorite Linux distro, and I'm more of an you know more of an intermediate user of Linux. Uh, not really a beginner, but you know I, I have some experience with Linux. Um, but Linux Mint has always been my favorite distro. Cinnamon has always been uh, my favorite desktop environment. Um, yeah, despite the fact that I use um, Corora um, XFCE every day, I just you know like to like to use something different sometimes. Um, so I'm just going to read all these descriptions. So uh, I've already told you a little bit about this one. It it has support. The uh, architecture support is i386, x86, and x64. This distribution is based on Debian, uh, you know, slash Ubuntu um, LTS. The OS type is of course Linux. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and read this description. Linux Mint is an Ubuntu-based distribution whose goal is to provide a, pl a more complete out-of-the-box experience by including browser plugins, support for DVD playback, Java, and other components. It also adds a custom desktop and menus, several unique configuration tools, a and a web-based package installation interface. Linux Mint is compatible with Ubuntu software repositories. So basically, if you do not know what that means, um, it means that Linux Mint will be compatible with all Debian applications and all Ubuntu applications. The next distro that we have listed is the Corora project. Corora is based on Fedora. Its origin was Australia and also the origin of uh, Linux Mint was Ireland. Um, so yeah, this one, this one's origin was uh, Australia. It, uh, it is based on Fedora. The architecture support is x86 and x64. Desktop environments are Cinnamon, Gnome, KDE Plasma, um, Mate, XFCE, um, and the category is Beginners, Desktop, and Live Medium, and I did not go over the categories on this one. This one is Beginners, Desktop, and Live Medium as well. Um, yeah, and uh, here is the description. Corora was born out of a desire to make Linux easier for new users. While still being useful for experts, the main goal of Corora, um, while still being useful for experts, the main goal of Corora is to provide a complete, easy-to-use system for general computing. O originally based, distro, based on Gen2 Linux in 2005, Corora was reborn in, in, in 2010 as a Fedora remix with tweaks and extras to make the system just work out of the box. So yeah, I would call, I would call Corora Project the Fedora that works. I actually did not make that up. Switch to Links made that up, so uh, I will leave a link in the description to his channel. Um, yeah, he made up uh, the joke that Fedora is the Corora that works. That's why I don't, or, or Corora is the Fedora that works. I apologize. That's why um, um, I don't have Fedora listed in this video. Um, so yeah, it's it's a very nice distribution. Uh, as you can see, I'm using it right now. I'm using Corora XFCE. Um, it works really well. It's fast. It's easy to use. Um, so yeah, the next distribution that I have listed is Manjaro Linux. This distribution is based on Arch Linux. Its origin is Austria, Austria Germany, and France. Uh, architecture is x86 and x64. Desktop is Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin, Gnome, i3, KDE Plasma, LXDE, LXQT, Mate, and XFCE. Now, uh, many of you may have known may have known my fr may know my friend Pseudo Linux. He uses um, Manjaro Linux. He uses actually the i3 desktop environment. Uh, this one that's listed right here. It's a very uh, you know advanced uh, desktop environment. Easy, uh, not easy to. Um, well, actually, it's easy if you're really good at uh, customizing and changing the uh, the uh, things about Linux. Uh, you know, it's a really advanced um, desktop environment for Linux. Um, so the category is desktop and live medium. Uh, as you see there, uh, there is no you know um, beginners like it says here, because um, this is more of a you know experienced Linux user desktop uh, Linux distribution. I apologize. That is that's one of the main reasons I don't really use it because I'm I'm not really a super great user a super great Linux um, like I'm not an experienced a very experienced uh, Linux 
a user like sudo Linux is. That's why he, he uses this distribution and the i3 desktop environment. Manjaro Linux is a fast, user-friendly desktop-oriented operating system based on Arch Linux. Key features include intuitive installation pro pro process, automatic hardware de detection, stable rolling release model, ability to install multiple kernels, special bash scripts for managing graphics drivers, and extensive desktop configurability. Manjaro Linux offers XFCE as the core desktop options. Um, and, all, and as you know, guys, uh, XFCE is my second favorite desktop environment, which is what I'm currently using in uh, Corora, um, as well as the as a minimalist net edition for more advanced users. As you see there, the keyword advanced users. Um, community supported GNOME 3 slash cinnamon and KDE flavors are available. Uh, users also benefit from the supportive and vibrant Manjaro community forum. So basically, in in Manjaro, uh, you are actually there, the community is actually able to create um, or add a desktop environment to this distribution. Um, so yeah, say something like LXDE did, didn't exist with uh, Manjaro. Uh, you know, you could you could program that and add it to Manjaro. Uh, I think it's long as they approve it and the community approves it and stuff. So yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it is a good distro, but I don't use it because, you know, it's just not a distribution for my taste. The next distro that I have is Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu is based on Debian. Origin is uh, Isle of Man. Um, architecture is ARM HF I I686 PowerPC PPC64EL S390X X86 X64. The desktop environments it includes is GNOME and Unity. Um, the category is beginners, desktop, server, and live medium. Um, and here is the description. Ubuntu is a complete desktop Linux operating system, freely available with both community and professional uh, support. And also, let me go back to here. So the the category is beginners, desktop, server, and live medium. So there are things like Ubuntu servers and stuff. Uh, I'm I'm sure many of you have heard of. Um, yeah, it is a beginners distro. So that's something I actually use sometimes. Uh, where was I? The Ubuntu community is well built. Is built on the ideas uh, enshrined in in the Ubuntu manifesto. That software should be available free of charge. That um, software tool should be usable by, by people in their local language and, and despite any disabilities. And that people should have freedom to customize and alter their softwares or their software in where and whatever way they see see they see fit. Ubuntu is an ancient African word meaning humanity to others. The Ubuntu distribution brings the, spir the spirit of Ubuntu to the software world. So yeah, as you can see there, it is a beginner's uh, distribution. It's also, you know, it is, it is also a very advanced distribution um, if, you, um, if you use it uh, the right way. Um, so yeah, let's go on to the next one. The next one I have is Ubuntu Mate. So I, I was debating whether I should uh, include this one or not. Um, because it is it is pretty much Ubuntu just with GNOME uh, two, not not three. As you can see here, it says GNOME, but that is that I'm I'm assuming that just means GNOME three. Um, so Mate means uh, GNOME two or Mate, however you want to pronounce it, or Mate, whatever you want to pronounce it as. Um, LS type Linux, of course, uh, based on Debian, Ubuntu, Origin, United Kingdom architecture, ARM. HF i386 PowerPC x86 and x64. A uh, desktop is Mate or Mate, um, which is actually just another you know a nickname for um, GNOME 2. A uh, category is beginners, desktop, live, medium, Raspberry Pi. You can actually get this install on the Raspberry Pi, which is very cool. I like how you can do that. Um, so as you can see there, uh, this is actually not made by the very creators of Ubuntu. It is made by like the community and stuff, I believe. Um, so yeah, Ubuntu Mate is, is a desktop Linux distribution which aims to bring the simplicity and elegance of the Ubuntu operating system through a classic traditional desktop environment. The Mate desktop, the Mate desktop. <laughs> Mate is the continuation of the GNOME 2 um, 
GNOME 2 desktop environment, which was used as Ubuntu's de default desktop uh, until um, Ubuntu 10.10. .10. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. Uh, Ubuntu uh, used to run on GNOME 2. Um, so yeah, I, I guess it could count as GNOME 3 and GNOME 2 because Ubuntu, um, like, you know, the uh, older versions of Ubuntu, like 9.10, uh, you know, stuff like that probably would have run on GNOME 2. But, you know, in uh, 2017, of course, they had to drop that and switch over, or drop uh, drop Unity and uh, switch over to GNOME 3, which, which, which was actually a pretty good idea. Unity was kind of dying anyway. Um, where was I? Um when it was replaced by Unity. The, the project began its life as an Ubuntu remix, but started, starting with version 15.04, it was for, formally accepted as an official member of the Ubuntu family of Linux distributions. All right, on to the next Linux distro. The next Linux distro I have is Solus OS. Um, so, based on independent, this is its own distro. It, it, it's not based on anything. Uh, Origin is Ireland, just like uh, uh, Linux Mint, as you can see there. Um, architecture is x86, x64. Uh, desktop is Budgie, Gnome, and Mate. Category is desktop and live medium. It is not uh, much of a uh, beginner's distro, even though I did use it for, I think, a month or so. No, 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 I, I didn't use it for a month. I used it for, like, a week. Um, so yeah, Solus is a Linux distribution built from scratch. It, it uses forked version of the PISI package manager maintained as EOPKG within Solus and a custom desktop environment called Budgie developed in-house. The Budgie desktop, which can be sent to, can be set up, set to emulate the look and feel of the GNOME 2 desktop, is tightly integrated with GNOME stack. The distribution is available for 64-bit computers only. I'm confused there because it says x86 as well. Huh. All right. Well, on to the next distro. Uh, yeah. This, uh, despite the fact that it it doesn't say that it's not a beginner's distro, it's actually pretty good as a um, distro that you could use. You know, if you are, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't actually say beginner to Linux, but uh, kind of new to Linux, just being introduced to it. Um, you know, you've had maybe a couple weeks of experience with it, and then you're ready to try something new. The last distribution we have is MX Linux, and also I'm not doing these in ranks. Uh, but what I'm going to do, um, I will leave. Um, I guess I guess I'll just uh, ask you guys uh, what distribution you guys like the most. Just rank them in order. Um, just rank what distributions you want, uh, or what distributions you like. Rank them in the uh, comments below. Uh, it doesn't have to be these distros. You could just rank them below. Uh, it could be, I don't know, out of it could be out of three, top three. It could be top four, top five. I don't, I don't really care the number. But let's go ahead and look at this last one. MX Linux, based on Debian, stable, anti-X. Origin is Greece, USA, and Greece and USA. Architecture i386, x86, and x64. A desktop is XFCE. Category is live medium and desktop. Um, and it says MX Linux, a desktop oriented uh, Linux distribution based on Debian's stable branch, is a cooperative venture between the anti X and former uh, Meepis Linux, Meepies, <laughs> M E P I S Linux communities. Um, using XFCE as the default desktop, it is a mid-weight operating system designed to combine an elegant and efficient desktop with simple com configuration, high stability, solid performance, and a medium-sized footprint. So yeah, it's it's. Uh, by the way, MX Linux is a very nice, very nice distro. Uh, if you uh, I. If you are looking for a distro to try out, you know, try out all of these uh, if you haven't tried any of them yet. I mean, of course, you guys have probably tried out stuff like uh, Ubuntu and probably Linux Mint and possibly Ubuntu Mate. Um, but, you know, all the other ones, if you haven't tried them out, go ahead and try them out. Uh, there will be a part two to this. Uh, this is more of a part one. Uh, there will be like a top five or top three uh, distros. Um, I don't know, for March or something. I don't know. Um but yeah, uh, I'm I'm thinking of starting doing a thing like uh, Wednesday 
top seven or something or just Wednesday top, uh, you know, ranking or I don't know, not ranking, but yeah, um, someday where I just make uh, top videos, maybe like once every two weeks or something, one video every two weeks or something, but yeah, so as I said, leave a comment below, uh, just rank your favorite distros from most love to least love, loved, um, uh, down in the comments, so just, just, I want, I want to know what's your favorite, uh, distribution, and, you know, what's your, what's your ranking of distributions, so yeah. Well, anyway, guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more videos. Comment down below um, what you thought about this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.